Taylorville Tornadoes got started in the Litchfield Tournament on Saturday night against East Alton Wood River. And this wasn't much of a game for the Tornadoes. We'll just go ahead and get the Oilers highlights out of the way early. And now we'll get to Taylorville's highlights, which could go on for a while. What did they do right, coach? For being so much more patient, and by being more patient, we're actually scoring more points. You know, after the game, I'm, I, I told them that, I said, you know, we're passing many more passes now, and we're scoring so much more because our quality of shot is better, which means our shot selection's going up. Yeah. And defensively, we're just everywhere. I mean, we got guys swarming. Uh, we did really good passing the ball, extra passes, and we just made the right passes to each other and made points. Malik Highsmith made plenty of points. I don't know, I was just wide open and shot it, made it. This would be a theme for him and for all the Tornadoes. Taylor Bowe scored in just about every way imaginable. And the Oilers had no way to stop it. Confidence, you know, to seeing that ball go in the basket, I don't care what the score is, you know, if it's a, a, a game like that or if it's a practice, any day the ball's going in, it gain, you gain confidence in your shot. And I think we're also gaining confidence in each other in a game like this. Hey, if I do make one more pass, I'll get it back. Heimsness didn't need to make that extra pass. Shot it, made it. Shot it, made it. But when he did, it worked well. Taylorville was getting everybody involved and they led 45 to 26 at the half. And the third quarter was pretty much the same. Do I really need to tell you how this one ended? We have a lot of fun getting people out there to score. It's just great for the team. It didn't look like Blake had fun in the interview, but he did during the game. Because he kept doing this. Shot it, made it. After three, Taylorville was well on their way to the century mark, but the running clock slowed them down. The reserves got in late, and it was Jet Evans who took over the game. Everybody got involved and Taylorville rolled to the easy win. Right now, we're again, we're like you said, we are definitely clicking on all cylinders and we're gaining confidence. We want to win this tournament and then get back to the conference and win more games and win the conference. We're on a three-game winning streak and we want to keep it up. 